Hi to all. Today I am going to start the alternating current. In that one topic I am going to explain AC voltage applied to resistor. Then what happens? What is alternating current? This we can also tell that AC. Alternating current means that current value varies with the time. Right? That is the AC. Alternating current. Alternating current. Here the there are two types of currents are there. One is DC current and AC current. DC means the current value does not changes with the time. This is the DC source voltage. Its voltage versus time if you draw the graph you will get a straight line like this. This is the DC source symbol. Now if you draw the graph between the voltage and the current then you will get like this. That means the DC source voltage changes with the time, right? What happening here? Sometimes positive, sometimes negative. Voltage value changes and direction also changes. That means it does not have the fixed positive and negatives. Sometimes positive, negative and the next negative, positive like this. The terminals of AC source will be changes. That's why I am not giving any terminal set here. Let us consider the AC source voltage is very sinusoidally like graph. Then AC source voltage we write as AC source voltage or EMF. Voltage or EMF we write as V. V is equal to we have V naught sin omega t. This is the AC source voltage. What is omega here? Omega is the angular frequency of AC source angular frequency of AC source okay the formula for the angular frequency is 2 pi by capital T or 2 pi nu where mu is the frequency general frequency and T is the time period okay right this is the source voltage what is V naught in this V Voltage depends upon time. Voltage is a function of time. Voltage varies with the time. That's why it is the AC voltage. AC voltage means the voltage which varies, the voltage whose magnitude varies continuously and direction varies, changes periodically. That is called as alternating voltage. Let us see here, the V naught is the peak value of voltage. Peak value of voltage. Right? This we are applying it here. But the, from the figure, when you apply the voltage to certain resistor, the voltage across AC source equal to voltage across resistance because they are in parallel. That's why we write from figure that V is equal to VR we write. Then what is the voltage across AC source? V naught sin omega t. What is voltage across resistance? At any instant, if the current in the resistor is I, then the voltage or the potential difference across the resistance is V sub X R that we write as IR. This is from Ohm's law V is equal to IR we write. Okay. And then from this I want the current formula. Current formula if you want to write or otherwise we write like this IR is equal to V naught sin omega t we write. Okay. Next step I want to write the formula for the current. Then how to write the current formula? Then from this current is equal to write as V naught by R into sin omega t. V naught by R into sin omega t. But the V naught is the peak value of voltage, maximum value of voltage by resistance. Maximum value by voltage by resistance gives the maximum current. Right? Then the I is equal to we will get as I naught sin omega t. This is equation 2. Then in this, this is important equation, right? And in this peak value of current is what? Peak value of current or the maximum value of current or the amplitude of current we can tell. Amplitude of current. Amplitude of current. That is nothing but I naught, it is equal to V naught by R. Okay, peak value of voltage by resistance gives the peak value of.
current this is equation 3 now in this I is what at here instantaneous current instantaneous current instantaneous current means what current at any instant of time current passes through the resistance R at any instant of time current at any instant of time any instant of time small t right this is the instantaneous current here we got the current equation and when you see here the voltage angle is uh, sin omega t okay when you see this current angle also we are getting the sin omega t then in the alternating current chapter we indicate the voltage and the current as rotating vectors they have some angle and they are indicated as rotating vectors from equation 1 and 2 we write the phase difference means phase means angle phase difference between between AC current AC current and voltage AC current and voltage in resistor what is the phase difference phase difference we denoted with phi it is equal to what is the difference in angles voltage angle and current angle we write omega t is a voltage angle and current angle also omega t we write omega t minus omega t we will get as the phase difference as zero then the phase difference zero this is important point okay phase difference is zero in uh, resistor now let us go for one thing that when the phase difference is zero then we say that in resistor the current is in phase with the voltage current is in phase with the voltage in resistor right okay then they may ask the question that the show that the current is in phase with the voltage in the resistor that means current is in phase with the voltage means voltage and current have the same phase angle omega t and omega t when you connect the ac source to the resistor okay right this is the phase difference and the next one more point i am going to explain that is the phasor diagram i am going to draw phasor diagram i am going to draw that is very important and uh, you listen very carefully okay take the screenshot and note it and then i am going to rub it Now, I am going to explain phasor diagram. This is very important. What is phasor diagram? Right? You should understood. A diagram that represents AC current and voltage as rotating vectors. In this chapter, we take the current and voltage as rotating vectors. Rotating vectors. They are also called as phasors. Current phasor, voltage phasor. They are represented in anti-clockwise direction. That is the phasor diagram. Let us see here. Let us see here uh, how to draw the phasor diagram here. Phasor diagram means the diagram represents the AC current and voltage as rotating vectors in anti-clockwise. Now let us see here. Uh, I am going to draw the phasor diagram for the resistor, right? Okay. Now we are discussing the AC through resistor. In that phasor diagram, I am going to draw. For that, what you have to do? You have to take the current and voltage. They should indicate like a rotating vectors for that what we have to do current formula what you got and voltage formula what you got for the resistor in case of ac throw resistor ac throw resistor right ac throw resistor we know one thing that voltage applied is v naught sin omega t and the current applied current passes through the resistor at any instant of time is psi naught sin omega t. Now indicate them as rotating vectors. The angle of the voltage and the angle of the current is the same. Then let us see here. 
uh, when we draw the phasor diagram it will be like this there then voltage we have to indicate like a vector and this is considered as the voltage okay the voltage is making some angle omega t this is the voltage okay and what about the current you take the x axis and y axis indicate the voltage as a rotating vector okay right like this this is the voltage and you can indicate the current also current also at the same angle we indicate the current also same direction right this is the current direction this is the voltage here and the next we see here one more arrow we have to draw this is the current but the both are having the same angle and they are indicated as rotating vectors in anti clockwise direction like this the both are having the same angle both are rotated by same angle this is the phasor diagram right this is the phasor diagram in this we say that the voltage and the currents are in same direction okay you see here one something i like this also we can draw then there is no problem for you right this is the y axis we take and this is the voltage direction if you will take okay and then the current also in the same direction right because the current angle and voltage angle is same that means both are along same direction you can indicate either like this or like this these two are the phasor diagrams only that is the phasor diagram for the resistor but one thing i draw it here that voltage phasor voltage length phasor is uh, having more length vector this current has less length because the current we will get by dividing the volt resistance by dividing the voltage with resistance right that's when the current value always we will get the less than v that's when the voltage vector has large length current vector has small length this is the important point and the next let us see the we will draw the graph between the vi vi graph vi graph vi graph in ac throw resistor right ac throw resistor in ac throw resistor we are discussing in that uh, i am going to draw the graph between the voltage and the current okay voltage current uh, it's not voltage current graph voltage comma current versus time graph this is our graph i am going to draw for the x let us see here this is the x axis on x axis i am taking the time and on y axis i am taking the voltage or the current then if you draw the voltage graph voltage equation is v is equal to v not sin omega t we will get like this this is the graph for the voltage and if you the peak value of voltage is v not and if you draw the graph between the current and time okay this is the voltage and time this is the vt graph right this is the vt graph and if you want to draw it graph current versus time then you will get the graph like this the same you will get little bit like this you will get then here the peak value of current is i not okay peak value of current is i not the peak value of current is less than the peak value of voltage because i not is equal to v no is v not by r i not is equal to v not by r that means i not must be less than v not okay and this is the it graph it graph current versus time graph okay and this is about ac throw resistor ac throw resistor and uh, <coughs> in the exam you may get the three marks question that is show that the current is in phase with the voltage through the resistor or otherwise they may ask to draw the phasor diagram right graph thank you for watching my lecture